Hello everyone. As you might already be aware, the Bolt Visual Scripting asset has been bought by Unity and is now available for free. This is great news for everyone, especially for people who are not programmers, as they be, will be able to make a game without coding. Today I will show you how you can add Bolt to your project and start using it. In order to import Bolt to your Unity project, first of all you will have to visit the Asset Store, which is the assetstore.unity.com and uh, currently the Bolt Visual Scripting is on the main page, but if you can't see this Bolt Visual Scripting here, you can always type Bolt in the search box and you should see the Bolt Visual Scripting on the, on the first position, which uh, has the yellow icon. Okay, so this is the asset, the Bolt Visual Scripting, which we will have to import, so just click on it. And then you will have to you will have to log into your Unity account. Once you log in, just select this Add to my asset blue button and the Bolt Visual Scripting will be added to your, to your assets. So you have to do it just once and you will be able to import this Bolt in any project you like. So once you've done it, let's uh, jump to the Unity. I have created empty 3D Unity project and let's import the Bolt now inside this project. So go to the window and then package manager from the list of the packages I will just click this icon and then select my assets so you should see all of the assets you have purchased from the asset store and then in the search box I will just type bolt and as you see the bolt is available here and you can download it first but I already did it so I can import now inside the project so once you download the package, you'll be able to import. So just select this import button and then import. So once you've done it, you should see in your asset, you should see the folder install bolt, which will contain the bolt with uh, .NET uh, 3 and 4 version. So if you don't know which version to choose, you can always go to the tools and you should see the install bolt uh, menu. So just select this install bolt and then Unity will automatically select the right version for you. So select this import, import. So you should see the bolt setup wizard window. Just click next. You can you can choose which uh, which naming convention is better for you. So as you see, you have example human naming, which uh, displaying the full name of the variables and more formatted name, which uh, adding the space between the words, or you can stick with the programming name, which is which should be familiar to you, something similar like you see in the in the mono behavior in the C sharp. So I will just choose the programming naming, and over here you can add assembly. So I will leave everything as default, so Unity will include everything as default, but if you miss something, you can always just click the small plus and then you can select the, the assembly you, you are interested in. So, for example, you are interested in using Unity UI, okay? Because this is something so, sometimes required. But we, we don't want to do that because this is just the example project. So click Next. And in the next window, you have uh, the, the type options. Uh, by default, you will be able to use the default types available inside the Unity as the vector 3, string, and so on but you can always define your own type and uh, add it here. So you, you'll be able to click this small plus and then select the type you are interested, okay? And then once you're happy with your choice, just click generate. So once everything is imported, you will, be, you will see this window. So you can go to the manual, which is the documentation, configuration. So if you wanna change something, add something new, you can always visit this window and go to the configuration to update it and of course you can close. I will close this window now. So let's first of all add uh, empty game object in, in, inside our scene. Or maybe I will add the simple cube. So I will right click in the hierarchy, 3D objects, cube. Okay, we have a cube. And let's tr start using the, the bolt to actually display the debug message inside our console. So first of all, let's open all of the windows which we, which we need. So go to the window and the, the three windows which we will be using is the graph, 
graph inspector and then variables. So let's open all of them. So the graph is where we where we will coding, where we do our coding. So I will just dock it here. Then the next window will be the graph inspector. So the graph inspector will hold information about all of the all of the let's say classes we created. Okay, I will dock it on the side. And then another window will be the variable which will show us all of the variables we have created. So we can create the variable for the object, for the graph, for the scene, for the for the app, and uh, the variable which we want to save inside the prefab. So this is very handy window. So in order to add the bold scripting into our object, let's select this cube. We will have to add the component, so add component. And then let's type flow flow machine so the flow machine will is some kind of the class reference for the for the scripting object inside our board so now we will have to create the flow macro so i will go to the assets and i will just right click create folder and let's call it flow macros so this is something similar as we usually create the scripting object. So inside this folder, I will put all of the all of the graphs from the from the bolt. So inside the folder, I will right click, create, and then let's find the flow macro, which is under the bolt, and then flow macro. Okay, and I will just call it test test macro. So once you've done it, you see our graph inspector has been populated. So we can name the class here. So I will just name it test macro. You can add the summary, what this class is exactly doing. And you can, of course, generate some variables. We're not going to touch this one in today's tutorial. I will just show you how you can print the debug clock inside the Unity. So right click inside the flow, flow graph and then type start. Okay, so once you start typing start, you will see this start event. So this is the standard Unity event, uh, the same as the start function in our coding. So this start function is defined by, by Unity and from here you can execute many different actions. So the one way to add another, let's say, line of code, the same as uh, we did inside uh, C Sharp, is you can grab this arrow and then release it. I want to add from the code base Unity engine and then we can get the debug. As you see, you have many different options to add. Let's just find the debug. So in the searching box, I will put the debug. And then you can you have many different options. So I will just put the debug log. And from here, we can just print the message. So I will just grab this dot and then drag and then let's select the string okay and this is the box where we're going to put our string so i will just put the hello world or maybe hero board okay so that's it what we have to do in order to create the script and attach to our game object so now uh, let's let's save it and now let's select our cube select our test macro inside the flow flow machine okay so I'll just select the, select the test macro so now our cube object will use the test macro so if you press play now and switch to the console the hello world message is displayed inside our console. So this code has been successfully exec executed. This is how you can start using Bolt. You can play around with this event. You can add another events like update, fixed update, and the rest of the standard events, which we have available inside the mono behavior. So I hope this tutorial was useful. I plan to make complete Unity tutorial using the Bolt visual scripting asset. So if you have any idea, about the type of game you would like me to make, please let me know in the comments and the comment with the most likes will be the, the one which I select and make a game from that comment. When you including your ideas, please 
put some links to existing projects or to images so I know exactly what you mean. If you don't put any idea, I will select something myself. This should be the 2D game and I will make it for the mobile device. So I hope you will come up with something good. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please consider to do so. You can hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you will not miss any future videos. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.